Hello again, Steve here with a few thoughts for this evening. Now this will be something to bring to your next dinner party at Christmas. If you don't want anybody to talk to you, maybe. But I'll share it anyway because this is what I enjoy to do for the three people who might listen to this. But it has to do with nihilism versus religion. And hey, we got religion coming up at Christmas. That's got to do with religion. So... A lot of people would say that they're kind of opposites. If you look up nihilism, it'll say something to the effect that I'll read it here. It says, the rejection of all religious and moral principles, often in the belief that life is meaningless. Now, that is in great contrast to religion. Of course, Steve mentions it there. In religions, that is part of the point of religion, is to explain in simple terms to people what's the purpose of life. Whereas nihilism rejects that concept in its very brief outline, one second description, right? Probably get into more of it, but if we had to. But I mean, I mean, here's the thing to me. Both of these things are irrational, right? Nihilism to me is irrational because to say life is meaningless is to then reject all that we continue to learn, right? If we, when we look at we look at life we see that the deeper we look at it we see interconnectedness and explanations as to why this is we see all kinds of cause and effect so when there's cause and effect we can't say there's complete meaninglessness i mean that would mean there's 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 no rationality to it there's no everything's completely random but it doesn't appear to be that way it seems to be incredibly orderly seems to be trying to equal out and balance out and create entropy and to create, um, or rather, I guess it's balance all the time. There's always this attempt to equal out. And so there's a cause over here, there's an effect somewhere. So this, to me, does not point to meaninglessness. So the nihilist, to me, is irrational, fundamentally. And the religious, to me, in its normal sense, the religious person is also irrational in that it's an explanation as to the purpose or to the origins of life, but not based in fact or not even based, so not re best based in evidence and also not based in reason, working it through. So if you're to say that there's an omnipresent creative force, omnipotent it's omni everything omni intelligent and so on and then we'll turn around and say what's well, jesus that to me is completely irrational because it's it's a contrast it's a it's a oxymoron right because if you say that something is omni it's it's infinite but if you're going to define it down to a being then that being has to be finite in order to define it Define is to cut it off, is to off to create finality, and to say that this is it, and the other guy's God is not it, right? To me, that is an irrational concept. But if I was to choose, which one would I choose? Who would I like to hang out with more? Well, a well-crafted moral guide based on religion seems fine to me. In terms of my neighbors I'm not I'm not going to necessarily I'm not going to agree with it I'm not going to believe it but I can learn from the moral teachings just like I can read a story that is fantasy that has a good moral moral story moral uh, good moral to it a good teaching to it I don't have to believe that the characters are actually true to get some value out of it so I might even I might even join the religious individual in their ceremonies if they if they have readings and and teachings about moral values because it doesn't matter to me whether the historical evidence or that guy that they say is their their omni everything even though he's got a nut sack and a penis like everybody else if they say that and they believe that well that's their business as long as they don't try to tell me that it forced me to do it with a gunpoint or a knife and 
as long as I get to use it as a metaphor. That's fine. Or should I understand them through metaphor? So to me, anything that creates moral structure, good quality moral structure for communities is much more favorable than nihilism, which is the rejection of all moral value. That's like saying, let's go build a house and not bother building a foundation, right? I mean, it would be better to build a foundation out of soft sandstone than to have no foundation at all, which would be an illogically crafted form of morality, perhaps. But at least it's morality. At least it has a guide for people that everybody can agree on that this is right and this is wrong. Whereas the nihilist doesn't even seem to have that. So when I contrast nihilism with religion, I would say, yes, they are both <laughs> irrational, but one is more beneficial in its outcome. And that's all. And, you know, in an ideal world, people would arrive at their morality through the reason, at least, or at least have their religion be metaphor and stories which with good moral teachings and to teach the children that this is how we teach you this is what's important to us but think it through for yourself and I'll help you to think it through because I want to teach you how to think for yourself that would be ideal but in the absence of that I'd rather see foundational moral values of right and wrong in, in, in communities of people rather than just a complete mishmash of no morality whatsoever and just nihilism and uh, what seems to be would seem to be just rule of the jungle which I don't think is really possible in any sizable group of people I think that people would naturally gravitate towards some sort of moral teaching and I think this is why religion exists because most people don't want to take the time to and the rigor to go through the philosophy and to, to drill down into themselves and establish what's right and wrong with reference to others. They'd rather just fit into a, 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 a prescription which society accepts as normal, and that way they don't have to, make, to explain themselves, and they just go along to get along and fit in to the normal considered to be right and wrong. And to me, if that right and wrong is pretty close to how I see, though, how, how you can derive, like for example, it, it doesn't take to me a god to say that it's wrong to kill somebody simply because I don't want to be killed and neither does anybody who I've ever talked to. So it seems like it's, it's so, it's so, it's common sense in a way, right? Same with raping somebody or stealing from somebody or lying to somebody. And these are pretty basic things. But the, the nihilist might come along and say, well, no, that's, it's not basic. Well, to me, that's hogwash. But if it takes religion for some people to understand that, well, I'd say, well, that's better than having a nihilism which says that just do whatever the hell you want. So foundational morals, I think, are important. How we arrive at them, I think, are less important. I want to say probably a few times in the next couple days. Merry Christmas. I don't mind saying that. I'm not religious, but hey, I take from old texts and so on, values which have been dispensed to many, many people. I don't take them literally, but if I can find value in them, I'll find value in them. And I like to say Merry Christmas because there's something about Mary and that being Mary, and there's something about the camaraderie that comes with Christmas and the, the sharing of, of human goodwill. Steve, again, great chatting. Talk again soon. Bye for now.